Hello, welcome to Ellie Bear Toys. Let's build Stephanie's gymnastics show today. Actually, that's a bit of a in, an interesting name. Like, is it seriously Stephanie's gymnastics show? Like, is she putting the show together or is she just performing in it? And since when was it a show? Like, is it a show or is it a competition? I'm so confused just by the title, but I need to stop being confused because it's really just probably just making confusion up. Let's see what we got in this box. We've got two books, we've got two bags, we've got some stickers, we've got some nice big base plates. All right, so Stephanie is in this set, obviously, because it's her gymnastics show and she's got shiny shoes and a new shiny top. That's nice. Oh, I like this top. And, and she's also got well, it's not a brand new hairpiece, but it's a new hairpiece for Stephanie. She's actually got her hair up for this show. So that's good because it gets very hot doing gymnastics and you don't really want your hair flying all around your face. So that's very important. She's also got a stick because you need sticks in gymnastics. Do you? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what's in this box. Let's see what we can add to this stick to make it slightly more gymnastic-y and less like a stick. We've got an enormously long twirling ribbon. So this is going to be for the rhythmic gymnastics. Let's see how twirly this ribbon, this ribbon can actually get. We put this on the top to actually hold it in place and then we swing it around and well that looks like it's gonna be loads of fun. We can twirl it around the, around the stick. I actually know very little about gymnastics. I know it's pretty to watch. I know it's really, really hard, very athletic. And uh, I know that because the mini dolls are not articulated in their wrists, or their, or their legs, so they're gonna look kind of funny doing gymnastics, but anyway. We're gonna have to do some imagining. We've also got, we've also got Mia, who is joining in as well, even though it's Stephanie's gymnastics show. She's got shiny shoes, so they're matches, which is very nice. She's got this shirt on, like the little top that she had in like the, the wood, the wood set, no, the forest set, and she's got a hoop. Like, this is a tiny hoop. So this is obviously, she's gonna be doing some rhythmic gymnastics with that too. Let's see if we can get it to, look, wow, what an amazing gymnastics she's doing. Let's see if we can actually get her to hold onto it. And there we go, there's her trick. That took her years to master that. It is just a feat of athleticism and amazing ability. And now Stephanie's trying to baffle her with her ribbon. Right, they are set up for the rhythmic gymnastics component of this set. They are going to need to stay hydrated because it is very, very exhausting to do any form of sport. So we're going to need lots and lots of water. Looks like this one might be for Mia. Ooh, maybe she could like juggle with the water bottle and with the hoop and with the ribbon. Okay, that's just getting ridiculous. And that would never happen in real gymnastics, but that would be funny. <laughs> okay, so we have got, they've got their little rhythmic gymnastics accessories. Now we need some places to actually do the gymnastics on. Some equipment, gymnastics equipment. That was what I was looking for. We've got a twirly bit here. So this is gonna help them. They're not actually going to have to spin themselves. The equipment is doing the spinning for them. Whee! <laughs> yeah, look at that. Stephanie's having a great, oh, she's having a great time. It's a good thing that her hair is tied up, and so is Mia's, because uh, otherwise that hair would be totally flying in their face when they spin around. Okay, nice big base plate here, and we're putting a bit more substantial brickwork down on this. So let's see what we're creating now. They've got a little twirly stagey kind of thing, which is pretty sure there's no twirly stagey piece of equipment in actual gymnastics but it's going to work so that we can imagine that twirling and stuff's going on with the actual mini dolls. This here we've got a smooth bit in the middle and now we have got a hinge area so this is a moving part and let's see what we're going to be doing with this moving part. So it's not really the girls who are moving themselves the equipment is going to be moving them <laughs> which is kind of, it's contradictory to how gymnastics actually works. But otherwise I'd have to move them. So if the equipment wasn't moving them, someone would have to move them and that'd be me. So I'm glad that the equipment is going to be equipped to do that. <laughs> Doing well today. All right, now we've got a nice smooth outline along the sides of what currently looks like a swimming pool, but it's not a swimming pool. It's got, or it could be, could have like a diving board in that. That could be like for flipping them up in the air, but it's not because there's a massive net here. We're putting little pins in each side around the corners and this goes in, they all get plugged in here. And now we've got the l least convincing trampoline I've ever seen. Is that gonna work? Well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> it's like it's like the one jump wonder. They go doing, <laughs> they fall off, and doing. Right, let's uh, let's see if this works from a different angle. Nope, nope. They only get to jump on it once. 
<laughs> okay, they need a bit more practice on this trampoline. Maybe they need to sit down on it. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, but not very effective. I would have hoped that they would jump a little bit higher than that. <laughs> they need to do some more practice. But let's see what we've got now. So they've got a trampoline, they got a little twirly stage, and now we've got something that kind of looks like kind of looks like a runway for a ramp for a car but as there are no cars in gymnastics equipment oh there is a horse like maybe it's like a okay so horses and cars and gymnastics horses and real horses are entirely different things so none of this has got anything really to do with what we're actually building so now we've got a rod and it is sitting loosely well in a spinnable we can spin it inside these little pink componenty things so that spins around so if we Put the girls on here, they can spin around and do the least convincing bars, gymnastics bars I've ever seen. Oh, I wish that, I really wish that their, their, their hands were articulated, their wrists were articulated, so that they can actually do this front on, because, oh, hold on, I've lost her. There we go. <laughs> no accidents. She's all good. She didn't break anything. She can get straight back on the bars. But even though she's doing some of the weirdest gymnastics I've ever seen. <laughs> but she gets not just one bar, so uneven bars. Uneven. So we need a high one up here so she can jump from there up to there. That's going to be an interesting feat. And she can only ever hang on with one arm. So that arm's going to get really tight. So she's going to have to swap them over. Now we have a little, a little handle for this one up here. We can put them both on at the same time. They can't spin straight like that. You're going to have to bend them. And they can both go at the same time and not run into each other. <laughs> okay, and now they've got some little stars at the top there, little pointy stars. And down here, we've got a bowl, a green bowl with a chalk. Like that white stuff is the chalk for their hands to make their hands less slippery or help stop the sweat from making the bars so slippery. So that didn't work for, for Mia because she just fell straight off. Okay. All right, we're up to bag number two. Let's see what we've got now. We've got, this could be a swimming pool. It's all blue. So we've got a trampoline, we've got the uneven bars, and we've got some rhythmic gymnastics stuff, and a twirly little platform stage, and this has got, hmm, we've got two of these little tiles with stars on them. So they go on the outside edges of this nice big blue piece. It's not, it's got, it's not gonna be a pool. I don't know why I even said it was gonna be a pool. You don't do gymnastics in a pool. Oh, that would also be quite fun. But no, you don't do gymnastics in a pool. So what have we got? I mentioned a ho the horse, the horse jumpy offy thing. Maybe? Maybe not. We've created a nice big square and at the back we've got a window? A window or a little display case? It could be a display case because these looks like, these looks like, these look like they are going to be displaying, well, that didn't work to straighten them up at all. Don't know why I thought that would work. Oh, to display the medals. Oh, look, and they're both gold medals. You get a gold and you get a gold. Everybody gets a gold. Nobody loses, everyone wins. <laughs> Maybe we could paint one of them silver. <laughs> and on this enormous screen, which has got the little TV insignia on the bottom, we've got, what are these one, two, three? So it's not the scoreboard, is it? Like it's like timing. I thought, I thought you got scores out of Oh, I don't know what you get scores out of. I don't know. I don't know what the scoreboard's about. Somebody who actually does gymnastics is going to have to explain the scoreboard to me because I have no idea. Is it a scoreboard? I don't know. All right. So this down here is also part of our scoreboard. I think this might be the current, the current score of the person who's actually performing or competing right now. I don't know how these work. This is, it, this is... I'm completely baffled, but we do have some very pretty stars going around that little the little number around the very top, so in the top screen. And now we've got some tall poles on either side. This is actually looking quite symmetrical. It's working nicely for my happy symmetry brain. Doing very nice. So we've got clips on the top of those. And of course, of course, this is a Friends set, right? We're going to need some speakers. Some speakers, though it's not just because it's a friend set that it gets speakers. You're gonna need the speakers for the music and for the announcements. Especially for the music though, you really need that you really need that music so that they can perform to it. Okay, so nice big speakers up there on the stands. And I still don't know quite what this middle bit's for, but maybe this will give me a clue. We've got a hinge and some cupboards. 
Do we need performing cupboards? Oh, no, okay, so these are lockers. Lockers with little heart little heart locks on them so the girls can store their stuff in here while they're performing keep it all safe okay so yeah all right so lockers and this one's got chocolate in it <laughs> very important for energy and this one's got a banana also very good for energy nice very nice snack food and another water bottle and a little seat a little seat for sitting down and resting when it's not your turn Okay, all right, so a rest area where they can put all their belongings and on the top, on the top there's actually a space to put a flag and the flag has got, oh, so this is like a motivational flag that the girls can like wave at, wave at their friends and go, yay! So this one, you can do, I, both of them are encouraging. They're both encouraging sides so they can have the little pointy one finger or they can have the, the love heart emoticon. It's all good, all right. So where does this go? It doesn't go in the middle. So it goes over here. It's supposed to go, there we go. So it goes over there on the side. So that's hinged too, and it's now nice and firmly stuck on there. So this bit in the middle is to put whichever piece of equipment you're performing on in the center stage. So you can actually change them in and out. So you can put the uneven bars in there, or you can put the trampoline in there. And this, this is very important, especially for Stephanie, who's incredibly competitive. It's not about whether you win or lose, it's about how you play the game and how hard you try. So these are the, this is, well, it's it's your, it's your prize podium. So there's the number one, the cherished number one spot, and number two, and number three. But don't forget, everyone gets gold medal in this one. <laughs> gold for you, and gold for you. Here's Stephanie, she's on the top, and, because there's no way that Mia was going to be allowed to win, she gets a gold medal. Hooray! But Mia, who is about to come second, she also, once we've ripped her head off, she also gets a gold medal! That's amazing! <laughs> and this actually hinges over here on the other side, on the opposite side to the locker, and I think, I think that we are pretty much done. That's, uh, I just can't stand the fact that this is not quite straight, so I fixed this sticker up, and put the, hold on, I've, I've knocked off a star. Where did that other star go? can't see it. Can you see it? Cannot see it at all. I don't know. It's disappeared. Lucky we have a spare one. So there was a spare star in the set. Hooray! <laughs> so I can take this off. I could change it around. I can... I'd like to have a place to actually store this equipment. Uh, we'll just pop, pop it all over here on the performing platform. Perfect! So the girls have now got a whole gymnastic setup at their disposal. I'm really sad that they don't have articulated wrists so that they can actually look a little bit normal doing this. But they're going to have fun anyway, and isn't that what really counts in the long run? <laughs> as long as they don't injure themselves. Alright, it's time for you to let me know in the comments what you think about the set. What's your favourite piece of equipment? And make sure you subscribe, and make sure you give the video a thumbs up, and I'll be back with another video very soon. So. I will see you then. <laughs> Bye!